Right, so a quick video of a trap which I'm going to call the rat hole snare trap, I suppose. Rat hole snare. Um, but you could scale this up or down and catch all sorts of animals with it. But the intention was if you had a rat hole or a hole an animal was passing, you would make something like this and put this over the hole. So the only way it can get through, if it is going to go through the hole, it has to pass through here. Um, like I said, you could scale it up, make it slightly bigger for squirrels if they're passing through a hole. Or you could make it massive um, if you had something like, I don't know, let's just say a rabbit going through a hole in a fence. You could scale it right up and have it so it has to get through the hole and go through there. So it's pretty simple. All it is is a board. And I've put a couple of these eye, eye screws, whatever you call them there. So one eye screw there. It could be a hook or a nail or anything. And one down here. That could be a staple. And attached on the top one is a spring. On the spring is your noose. And then also attached is a small piece of string with a peg on it and you have to use another stick as well really simple design um, just the tons of traps which are based off this principle anyway but with say for example I've seen some with a bent over stick the spring is a, just a bendy branch and the rest is the same your, your noose and your peg So what you do is you pull this down. I've made a little notch here just to guide it to one side. You pull this down and put it underneath there. And then you just block the stick off with another stick. We'll put it up high at the minute just to keep it there. But as you can see, this one, it wants to flip out this way. So it's been held at the top. It wants to flip that way, but it can't because this stick. So all you do is when the animal stands on, stands on this stick, that will free this one, fly up in the air, and so will the noose. So that's basically done. All you want to do is get your snare right. Now what you'd want to do is you want to put this on the hole and make sure the animal is through there, through the noose, before he stands Through the noose before he stands on the um the bottom stick. So getting this noose in here can be a little bit of a nuisance. Because this um this brass wire is quite springy. Alright, so if you was gonna use this on the rat hole, you're gonna want it the other way around so this is the side you would want facing the hole so say the hole was here on the wall over there you would want to put it round this way so that he's passed through the snare before he stands on the um on the bottom stick i suppose you could put a couple of nails or notches well you could use a piece of string to be honest if you thought your snare was going to keep moving because this is a little like i said it's a little bit springy so it keeps moving it's twisted as well all 
also if you wanted to make sure that the animal would stand on the snare sorry stand on the bottom stick if you had something like a piece of card or a piece of wood what you could it would be better lay it on like that to kind of act as a treadle plate so when he went through he'd have to stand on the piece of wood and knock it down so from this side I'll show you to so a piece of wood or something like that you can even glue it on if you wanted to and that way once he's passed through he has to stand on that to get through there whereas without it he may just hop over obviously your bottom stick the lower you put it to that one the more of a hair trigger it becomes <laughs> 